This is Paul. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, there's what's known as the policy, a course of action to be followed or avoided. Yes. Mm -hmm. The programs and aims of a government in caring for its people. <laughs> a document issued by an insurance company. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Then there's that blanket policy, mm -hmm. an insurance policy covers a class of property rather than a particular article or thing. <laughs> As an example, a blanket policy may cover all the art a man owns. Oh, <laughs> and then there's that uh, mm -hmm. policy paid up, a life insurance policy in which no further premium is due. <laughs> And then there's public policy, the aims and goals of the law in promoting the general welfare of the people. Ooch. <laughs> and then there's that political crime, an offense against the government, such as treason or an attempt to overthrow a constituted government through illegal activities. <laughs> Then there's the political office, a government office obtained through elections, not included in a political office are civil service jobs or jobs dealing with the administration of justice, which should be free of political influence. Oh, you're running for office! Now I know, what is the policy, the course of action to be followed or avoided, the programs and aims of the government and caring for its people, pooch. You know, uh, as a citizen of the United States, I would have thought that it violated the policies of the United States to uh, kidnap and abduct children. Now, we've looked at the laws, haven't we? The actual laws that require notice and opportunity to be heard. Yes. But this morning, I'm just listening to myself, and as I was walking up here, I noticed the smell of Shirley's restaurant, and somebody's eating hash browns, eggs, and bacon, and fruit. as that individual that's not getting a breakfast. Smells good at that restaurant. No, I don't. Oh... Now, there's a, there's a problem today because I thought it was the policy of the United States government to always enforce child abduction laws. And when you issue a dissolution of marriage where you made sure that I wouldn't get noticed, <clears throat> it seems that when you gave uh, custody of my sons, it can be proven in court that it's a Class B felony, and then there's that complicity. You know... I'm concerned about the policies of this government, the state government, each and every state's government, about what they know about crime and why it is they don't enforce the laws. <laughs> now, let's say that I found out that there was a policy, pooch, that you cannot retaliate against an individual for informing law enforcement about a crime <laughs> because you're running for political office, Sheriff, ooch. <laughs> or McLaughlin's running for political office, ooch, or maybe there's some new individuals that want to be judges, and for some stupid fucking reason,